Hey guys, welcome back to Human Fall Flat Secrets, Tips, and Tricks Part 3! Holy crap, that went by really quickly. Thank you guys very much for blowing up not only Part 1, but Part 2 as well. This was very much requested by you guys, so here I am, back with some more secrets, tips, and tricks for Human Fall Flat here for Part 3, and we're kicking things off with a nice shortcut here that is actually through another secret area in the mountain level. If you go over to this cave, now normally this is used to collect collect these like different like little green cubes in order to get an achievement but if you're actually able to maneuver your way through the cave as I'm doing here and you can uh, follow along in this video if you're having trouble maneuvering through these caves but like I said normally this is used to do an achievement where you collect these like little green cubes they kind of look like the tesseract if you're a fan of Marvel films you know the tesseract is like a blue cube these are like green glowing cubes you're, so you're supposed to collect them all and you get this achievement like that one right there but if you maneuver your way through the caves I would suggest doing it with a lantern it'll actually get you a nice shortcut through uh, to the Tarzan rope from uh, part one if you maneuver through the cave like this, and uh, yes, granted, I know that I could have edited this down, but uh, I, I took so many wrong turns, I felt like at some point somebody might get confused, like, well, which way did you go when doing this? So I just decided to keep it all in. But yeah, once you make your way to this area, pull yourself up here, and then you'll see this log. Now, much like on the castle level, you want to take this stick and put it through the bars and use it to bend the bars and this will actually spit you out right next to that Tarzan rope and the Tarzan rope I have an added thing to it something very interesting that you can use maybe to psych out some friends online or maybe like if you're playing with a friend that doesn't really look at your screen when doing split screen but yeah you see bending the bars here you can bend them apart there we go nice and sturdy and yank that out of the way and jump through the bars and it spits you out right next to the Tarzan rope. Now the updated fact to this is that there is actually a little plank down at the bottom of the cavern that you can land on. I'm guessing this is just the base of where the level is created. Right down there. And you can like trick out your friend saying like, Haha, I didn't fall, I'm still alive. But technically you're just sitting here on this like empty little plate of whatever of the level. Now, I also have an update of how to climb this wall in the demolition level. If you guys don't know how to do the swing climbing method that I showed in the previous part of this video, I have a nice and easier way to do it that you don't have to do the swing climb method. Walk across this beam here and go to the right. And then go over to this one. This will actually get you a little bit higher. That way you don't have to do the swinging method. You just have to jump up and grab that ledge. So here you go, lift yourself up onto this, make sure you don't fall, and then yeah, just walk across this little beam here, and then put your arms up, jump up, grab the ledge, and then you'll be at the top of this thing. And you can keep going and follow previous steps from part one of the tips and tricks video, and you'll be able to beat this level pretty darn quickly. Also, in the castle level, I have a way of zip lining over to the windmill, climb up these rocks from the previous part one of these secrets, tips, and tricks videos, and take this little hook, now it's going to be pretty difficult, I've sped it up here, but you got to grab this hook and basically carry it all the way up this mountain. So be careful not to drop it, because I think it has to actually fall into the abyss to respawn. But once you eventually get it up to this top, I don't know why they didn't just spawn it at the top, put it on this hook, put it on this line, and you will zip line over to the windmill. And if I happen to do a part four, I do have something interesting you can do with that windmill. So stay tuned for perhaps a part four. But uh, in the water level, a nice way to get past this little water puzzle with all these boxes, you can actually take two of these boxes from around this gate, and you see over here off to the right, there are these little pipes. You can actually climb over these pipes and it'll help you get through some of the puzzles. Take these two boxes, put one like this up against the wall, and then take the second box and kind of just sit it up against the leaning box climb on top of it and then kind of use that leaning box as sort of like a ramp you can just run up it and then bam you're right there jump up grab the top of the poles and lift yourself over it's a nice little shortcut for this part of the level 
Also, for you co-op players, yes, we are the Mario Brothers, but not for long, I'll explain here in a second. Uh, at this part of the water level, take the chain that's on the back of the gondola that you took to get up to this point. One of you holds on to one side of the chain, and then the other one holds on to the other side of the chain, and then you will straddle across the beam, and you will zip line down using the chain, and as we are not the Mario Brothers anymore, we are now the Chain Gang! <laughs> Yeah, oop, careful Luigi, stay down. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, a nice, another little shortcut. It's kind of an updated version from part two where you guys were holding hands, but I mean, if you want to, you can. But uh, yeah, the Mario Brothers have made it. Come on, Luigi, the princess is in another level. <laughs> Also, there are some Easter eggs. Actually, while customizing your character, there are three outfits themed after very famous YouTubers, including Jack Septicai, which is the only one that I really recognize. I don't know the other two, but these are actually famous YouTubers that have are famous for playing Human Fall Flat, and they have actually gotten into the game as creator parts. Now, the only question lies, when do I get added into Human Fall Flat? Come on, Justice, uh, someone tweet Human Fall Flat about this. But uh, also, we have a hidden voice here on the train level. This one was very difficult to get. Uh, I set the lantern next to here. Now, that maze that I showed in part one, you actually have to do the maze in pitch black, which is why I put the lantern next to the wall right there, so the light glitches through and I can sort of maneuver my way through the the maze but if you end up getting through the rest of the maze in complete pitch black which took me several days to figure out how to do this if you make it all the way to the end in pitch black then you should get this hidden voice it was dark I couldn't see anything Oh man, I was so excited to finally find that hidden voice, and there's actually a couple more hidden voices that I want to showcase in a separate video, but yeah, that was another very fun one to get. Uh, and that's where I'm going to leave it off for part three today. Yes, a whole lot more secrets, tips, and tricks for Human Fall Flat, and there's a brand new level out called Dark. Me and my brother got to play it, so I'll be linking that at the end of this video. You can go ahead and watch the Spooky Bros conquer the level known as Dark, and they're a heck of a lot of secrets in that level nonetheless so if you guys want to see a part four then please let me know in the comment section below and like I said I'll be doing a separate video on all of the hidden voices in human fall flat for every level uh, some of them are a whole lot easier to find than others obviously that train one was very difficult to find uh, I'll maybe do like a video on how to climb like do the extended climb like where I swing around but let me know in the comment section below were there any tips tricks or secrets secrets that you already knew about or didn't know about which one was your favorite let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys potentially for a part four of this secrets tips and tricks series for human fall flat